hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this fourth video of rectification of errors chapter we are going to talk about the errors that happen when we record the transaction entirely with the wrong amounts now you have to understand this error properly otherwise you will not be able to rectify this because you might think that these errors are casting errors and you will rectify it that way and you will completely mess up okay so please understand the error properly first here what happens is you record the entire transaction with a wrong amount okay this is not a casting error in casting error what used to happen let's just revise yeah what we have seen in the previous video we discussed in detail about the casting errors right over casting and under casting what used to happen over here we used to make a mistake while totaling the purchase books or, yeah any subsidiary book and then what used to happen was the effect of error used to go in only one account now in this case purchase book example if you make an error here in the total of purchase book then the effect of error will go only in the debit isn't it because purchase account has debit balance and then when you used to rectify this error what used to happen you used to make use of suspense account yeah you used to complete the handicap with the suspense account because error is only there in the purchase account you rectified that with the rectification entry and the other effect that you had to complete with the suspense account isn't it yes that's what casting errors are yeah they affect only one side yeah only one account you can say but these errors which we are talking about over here here the mistake will exist the error will exist in two or more accounts yeah this is not a casting error you cannot make use of the suspense account and the effect of error in this case will go into debit as well as credit is that clear yes now i'm sure you people must be wondering how to identify these errors recording of the wrong amounts see it's really simple what you have to do is you just have to look into the question what are the keywords over there in that in that error is it recorded entered past if it is then immediately you have to commit to your mind that the entire transaction is wrongly recorded isn't it yes we have seen this classification in the second video yeah so there is a whole mistake over there and you know i have already explained to you two tricks homogeneous trick and heterogeneous trick okay so you have to see whether that error falls into homogeneous or heterogeneous if it doesn't then what does it mean then you have to look for wrong amounts okay they will mention uh, rent paid 5000 has been recorded as 10000 so immediately you can understand that it's not difficult the main thing is the keyword once you understood the keyword is recorded entered past that means entire mistake is there okay whole mistake is there okay the effect has gone into debit as well as credit so immediately you can understand don't worry about that okay so you have homogeneous heterogeneous in this category and as well as this recording of the wrong amounts fine it's common sense actually you will see how simple it is okay now let's discuss about the rectification now see here you can have two scenarios of this okay what can happen the first scenario is that less amount is recorded okay and the second scenario is more amount is recorded so what you will do it's really simple the effect has gone into debit as well as credit for example you know rent paid 5000 okay rent paid 5000 has been recorded as 1000 this category rent paid 5000 has been recorded as 10000 this category so what you will do what is the rectification simple rectification common sense see here if less amount has been recorded then what's the general entry what's the general entry same general entry only na what is general entry rent account debit to cash yeah 1000 1000 so what you have to do you have to record additionally 4000 rent yeah rent account to cash 4000 4000 and then what will happen the rectification will be completed isn't it rent account has 5000 now and cash account has been decreased by 5000 is that clear so what you have to do same correct entry with differential amount okay because see rent paid was 5000 but you recorded only 1000 in the beginning less amount recorded 1000 only so additionally 4000 you have to record the differential amount the correct amount and the the recorded amount the differential you have to take and you know pass the rectification entry okay we'll see the example don't worry and then the second scenario is more amount is recorded as i said rent paid is 5000 you have recorded how much let's say 8000 okay let's say 8000 so more amount is recorded by 8000 what's the entry rent account to cash 8000 8000 that's the entry they have passed yeah wrong entry isn't it yes actually it's the current entry only the amounts are wrong here only the amounts are wrong accounts and everything is correct so what you have to do you just have to reverse reverse with the differential amount what is the differential amount the recorded amount is 
the actual correct amount is 5000 the differential would be 3000 is that clear yes so what you will do you will reverse that entry with the 3000 cash account to rent cash account to rent is that clear rent account to cash 8000 you passed yeah in the beginning now for rectification you just have to reverse 3000 so what you will do you will do cash account to rent okay so expense will be reversed by 3000 and the cash balance would increase by 3000 is that clear so it will be rectified so it's just common sense less amount record means you have to record more more amount is recorded means you have to reverse okay but now here this is not casting error in casting error what used to happen the mistake used to be there only in the rent account only in sales account only in purchase account yeah so the other side yeah the other effect had to be completed by the suspense account yeah we used to complete the handicap is that here so that's the main difference between this recording of wrong amounts when the keyword is recorded entered passed and with the uh, casting error that's the main difference suspense account okay fine so you got this right now let's see some examples and let's understand properly and practically how to rectify these sort of errors now here we have six examples of the errors when wrong amount has been recorded entirely and the effect has gone into debit as well as credit and we have to rectify that so see it's really simple let's start with the first one cash paid to isha 4000 was entered as 3500 you see this transaction the keyword is entered what does that mean it means the entire transaction is wrongly recorded is it heterogeneous homogeneous has debit has gone to debit or credit has gone into credit something like that no it's not the wrong amounts have been recorded the transaction was actually of 4000 it has been recorded at 3500 this is the correct amount this is the wrong amount so what you have to do it's really simple which scenario is this have they recorded more or less they have recorded less so what you have to do you have to you know record more with the correct entry is that clear see here the transaction was of 4000 what have they done they have recorded only 3500 so what you have to do less amount is recorded so you have passed the same correct entry with the differential amount yeah same correct entry what is the correct entry for this cash paid to isha what is the correct entry isha account debit to cash yeah cash is paid to isha isha account debit to cash and then what is the differential amount over here 4000 minus 3500 the differential amount is 500 so see the entry over here isha account debit to cash account is that clear 500 500 because see the transaction was of 4000 but only 3500 was recorded what is the common sense you have to record that 500 additionally that's all that's the rectification there is no rocket science behind this is that clear yes the next transaction electricity bill of 10000 was recorded as 8000 see the keyword is recorded entire transaction is wrongly recorded is it heterogeneous homogeneous no 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 here wrong amounts have been recorded this is the correct amount this is the wrong amount so which scenario less or more they have recorded less see electricity bill of 10000 10000 has been recorded as 8000 yeah so what you have to do you have to record more by 2000 yeah the differential amount is 2000 now nah, 10000 and 8000 the differential amount is 2000 so you just have to pass you just have to pass the correct entry same correct entry with differential amount that's the rectification clear electricity account debit to cash account 2000 2000 hmm? so electricity you know expense increased by 2000 and cash account decreased by 2000 yes next you have see cash withdrawn from bank for personal use 7000 was recorded as 17000 was recorded as 17000 recorded means you know entire mistake is it homo hetero no it's not here wrong amounts have been recorded yeah is it more or less 7000 has been recorded as 17000 so it is more yeah it is second scenario more amount has been recorded so what you have to do you have to pass the reverse entry with the differential amount it's common sense now nah, if you have recorded more than what you have to do effect has gone into both debit as well as credit what you have to do you just have to reverse how will you reverse whatever that is debited you have to credit that whatever that is credited you have to debit that is that clear? opposite you have to do to reverse so see what is the correct entry for cash withdrawn from bank for personal use for personal use personal use means drawings will come so drawings account to bank yeah drawings account debit to bank now whenever you withdraw the money from bank for personal use cash will not increase because the money is not going into the business no 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 money is going into the hands of the owner for his personal use 
okay so that is why drawings account will be debited and bank account will be credited yeah that's the correct entry but that entry happened at 17000 which is not right yeah wrong amount has been you know uh, recorded so what you have to do you just have to reverse the differential amount 7000 and 17000 what's the difference between this 10000 so see the entry bank account debit 10000 to drawings account 10000 reverse entry you have to pass in the correct entry drawings account is debited and bank account is credited because bank is decreasing and drawings are increasing but now wrong amount recorded wrong amount was recorded yeah more was recorded so you have to reverse that with the differential amount 10,000 10,000 exactly yeah? that's the logic behind this fine you got this right let's move on now the next transaction is see here see here cash received from Nikhil 3,000 was entered as 30,000 one more zero day uh, entered over there yeah so what is the correct entry for this cash account to nickel cash receipt from nickel yeah cash account to nickel but the amount was recorded as 30,000 so what you have to do you have to reverse isn't it it is more now more means you have to reverse okay more amount is recorded reverse entry with the differential amount what is the differential amount 30,000 minus 3,000 that is 27,000 right so you have to reverse this entire transaction by 27,000 see entered recorded passed it means the mistake is there in you know entire recording entire transaction is wrongly recorded the debit is also wrong credit is also wrong so that is why entire transaction you have to reverse not just the nickel account not just the cash account okay these are not casting errors fine okay so what what, what is the correct entry for this cash account to nickel so to reverse what you have to do nickel account debit to cash is that clear 27,000 27,000 that's the simple logic of this fine next transaction goods sold to Alfred 6,000 was entered as 10,000 entered is the keyword entire transaction mistake two amounts the correct amount and the wrong amount so what is the correct entry for goods sold to Alfred Alfred account debit to sales yeah that's the correct entry but now here the transaction is recorded more by how much more by 4000 isn't it the differential amount yeah it has been recorded at 10,000 so what you have to do you have to reverse that 4000 entirely yeah 4000 entirely from debit as well as credit yes so see here sale account debit to alfred account 4000 4000 sale has credit balance alfred is what if you are selling to alfred then he's your debtor and asset so he has debit balance to reverse that you have to credit alfred to reverse sale which has credit balance you have to debit that yeah reverse entry it's simple it's simple okay and then we have six transactions see here insurance premium 2000 paid by check was entered as 2150 okay 2150 rupees so see what has happened over here more or less which scenario is this first or second this is second scenario more has been recorded the insurance premium this expense was of 2000 but you recorded it as 2150 yeah 2150 by 150 rupees more so what you have to do you have to reverse that 150 rupees entirely from debit as well as credit that's the main thing about this yeah recording of the wrong amount entirely the main rectification is reversing the whole thing the debit also credit also fine so how will you reverse first you need to know the correct entry what is the correct entry of this insurance premium is an expense so we debit that yeah and you know it was paid by check so bank account you have to credit insurance premium to bank but now here more amount has been recorded you have to reverse by 150 the differential amount so what you have to do you have to reverse the entry bank account debit to insurance premium bank account debit to insurance premium 150 150 is that clear it's simple it's not difficult yeah more amount was recorded so you have to reverse the entry with the differential amount 2000 minus 2150 that is equal to 150 right with that amount you have to reverse is that clear is there any doubt in this if you have any doubt in this then please comment down below because it's really simple you just need to know what kind of balance the things has what rules to apply on them yeah and then easily you can reverse or record anything now here mostly everything will be you know what uh, entirely reversing or entirely recording yeah see here entirely recorded in both the accounts isha account to cash 500 500 here you entirely reverse these are not specific all the accounts are getting affected is that clear yes so that's it for this video see you in the next video in the next video what are we going to do is we are going to start with the posted debited credited and that's the most crucial part of this chapter okay fine so that's it for this video see you in the next video bye